Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show how to type an acute accent over vowels uh, in Windows 10. The version of Windows 10 I'm using is uh, 20H2, which is the latest version of Windows as of May 2021. Um, and the good news is that if you have a stock install of Windows with the uh, US keyboard, it seems to work out of the box these days. Um, later in the video, I will show you how to set up the international keyboard in case you're running an old version of Windows. Um, but sort of out of the box here, um, I'm able to type these keys. So I'm just going to show this in the search bar. The way that you do this is you hold down the control key. While you're holding the control key, you press the single quote key. So control, single quote, and then you let go of both of those keys, and then you type the vowel that you want. So there's an acute um, E. So uh, there are some caveats here. So notably, if I open a notepad um, and I do control single tick E, it doesn't, it doesn't actually um, write the accent mark. Um, Notepad's kind of a legacy app, so maybe that has something to do with it. Uh, it. This does work in like Word. So for instance, if I open up Word, I can type some stuff here. Um, so I can do all of the vowels here, A, E, I, O and U, and I can type something in Irish. So let's do the classic Tame Gama. Um, and so if, you, if you're running the latest version of Windows uh, as of May 2021, and uh, you just want to use the, the you know, accent marks, so you don't need to do anything. You just need to learn how to type those vowels. If you're running an old version, you may need to install the international keyboard. Um, so Try it out. If it works for you, that's all you're. That's all you need to do. You're done. If uh, it doesn't work for you, then what you're going to do is uh, go to the search bar, type language settings, click on the language settings control panel, and what you're going to do is down here where it says English United States, click on that. You're going to click on options, and then at the bottom of the window, you'll see that there's a keyboard list and the U.S. Key Query keyboard's installed. We're going to install a second keyboard here, and this is going to be the United States International Keyboard. And what you'll see is at the bottom of your start bar here, um, you can switch between the keyboards. And actually, if you mouse over this, it says to switch input methods, press Windows space. So I can either do that. Oops, that didn't work um, because I'm running this in VMware. But uh, Windows space on a, a PC will work. And also, you can just click on the menu and choose English International. Um, now, make sure that this is selected correctly, because if it's not, you won't, you won't be able to do that if that's, if that's the issue for you. Um, and then, again, control, single quote together, and then let go of those keys and press your vowel. And that's really all there is to it. Um, I'll see you in the next video. 